Here, we use the viewer to determine what video we want to show, and we put that together on the timeline. And then we use the canvas to see if we have actually put this together the way we want. Let's take a look here. I've got this clip on the timeline with the dog in the mud. I'm going to go back to the dog in the mud. What I want to do is create another clip on the timeline from this same piece of media. I'm able to do that in Final Cut Pro. This media right here, I can drag down to the timeline, or I can drag it from the viewer. Now, the nice thing about this is I can choose different in and out points for the same piece of media, meaning that if I double click on the dog in the mud with kids, this clip that I've changed, I can actually choose a different in and out point. Hit the letter I for in. Hit the letter O for out. And I can drag that down to the timeline. As I'm going through, I see the dog in the mud, kids running up to it. I remember seeing at the end of this video clip, if I double click on this clip again to make sure that I'm loading a fresh version of it into the viewer, at the very end, I get a really great shot of the dog in the mud here. And I've, I'm thinking that this might be what I want to see before the kids run up. So again, if I use the left and right arrow keys on my keyboard, I'm able to move this playhead left and right, frame by frame. So if I set an endpoint right here, and then set my out point right here, I'm going to drag this down to the timeline. And right now, I'm going to put it on video track 2 so that it appears on top of the video clip that I already put down. I'm going to zoom in a little closer so you can take a look. Notice that these are both named Dog in the Mud with Kids, yet they're both different. They're from the same piece of media. And if I play them, you watch what happens in the canvas in the upper right-hand corner. I'm going to move my playhead. Notice that the timeline also has a playhead. This yellow triangle right here is another playhead, similar to the one here in the viewer. If I move down here, back to the beginning of my sequence, I move the playhead there. I'm going to play this. And I can also use the play button here on the canvas. If I hit play, this is what's on the timeline. Now, I've decided that I don't want this clip anymore, so I'm going to get rid of it. Click on it and click on the delete key. Now, I can click on this clip and drag it over so that it bumps up to this first clip. I'll be sure to save my project, File, Save Project, and then we're ready to move on.